Welcome back to Angie Max Little Mites and we are in the bird room. Um, I've now converted it. It was a summer house and it's now going to be a winter bird room just for somewhere different for us to come and for the birds to get some from the daylight panel and just come in here and it doesn't matter what they chew or what they do. Um, they're free to do what they want because it's their room. The particular subject I want you to cover today, which it constantly, constantly comes up with me, with my other bird buddies and people that are looking to purchase or rescue birds. Um, and the first thing normally that comes out of their mouth um, is, oh, you've got African greys. Um that's what I want. And you you know straight away what they're going to say. Oh, they talk, or they do this, they do that. But the main, the main reason why is because they talk. And this is why people are so drawn to African greys. The Timonese I find, uh, the Timonese African greys, which are now classified as a different species, from the Congo African Grey, which is what spice is. And by the way, you can see his feathers are now growing back. So we'll go into that in another upload, but that's good news. Um, so yeah, it's 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 always um comes up. What what do they say? You know, how do they speak? What do they, you know? First of all, um, this is gonna really annoy a lot of people. I don't know what the big thing is, why African greys have been put on this pedestal has the best talkers and the best bird to have for companions and people do. It's the ultimate dream of a lot of people to own an African grey. And the simple fact, I'm, you know, that I seem to be coming across on a regular basis is the speech of an African grey. Now, other birds, you know, and I'm going to give one bird as example, don't get the opportunity. And when I say this to people, because they're common, because they're small, people don't give them the benefit of the doubt of how smart they are. They make brilliant talkers, avid talkers. Some of them have had, I believe, some of them up to 800 word uh, vocabulary, which is huge. And that bird is the budgerigar. And they are so smart. Um, when I had budgerigars, they, they spoke quite clearly. Um, and, you know, it was it was, it was was great. Seeing, you know, it's, I can understand people, you know, it's nice because you're bond and, you know, it's their way of bonding with you by talking. And um, they don't give budgerigars the... Um, recognition they deserve instead it's always about the African grey and let me tell you this some African greys may never talk and you should never get a bird just because you want it to talk okay it's a bonus it's nice but it's not essential it's not it's not the reason to get a bird um and this is Spice. Spice is 17 years old. He's rescue. Now, I don't know all about his previous life. But he's been through a lot. But he doesn't talk. Okay? He's probably said once or twice hello. But on the whole, he doesn't speak. At all. He'll whistle. He'll scream. He doesn't talk. So... Please, don't just get a bird because you want it to perform, you want it to talk. I know that it's nice for them to talk and it bonds you and it's company and, you know, but dogs don't talk, usually, <laughs> and we bond with them. Cats don't talk and we bond with them and a whole host of animals that we have as pets. So the pressure on the African grey parrot is quite high. That people 
don't hope they talk, they expect them to talk. Well, look, we have an African grey here that doesn't talk and he's 17 years old. Um, and it doesn't matter to me whether he talks or not. If you're taking a bird on, such as the African grey, they're quite large, especially the males. I mean, you put my hand there, he's, you know, he's a big bird. And they require a lot of care, a lot of freedom, a lot of stimulation, um, you know, careful diet due to calcium deficiency. There's a whole host of things when you get a bird this size, you know, the exercise, are you able to hold the bird? I mean, I suffer with my arms and fibromyalgia, so quite often him being on my arm is a bit too heavy and all these things that people are not considering. They're so focused on the bird talking. And then when that bird doesn't talk, there's disappointment. The birds let them down. It's not what they wanted. Hence, you end up with them coming to someone like me, which is not their fault, you know. And it is, it's not fair and it's, it's sad. So if, if you specifically want a bird to talk and that's what you want to do, don't discount other birds. I have a kike that talks, you know, talks up a storm. Um, and, you know, I have a Senegal who, you know, and I know many people that had Senegals. My mum had a male and he spoke really well, but Boo doesn't talk. Um, I had budgery guards that, you know, spoke really clearly. They are parrots at the end of the day. Tiny as they are, they've got a long life expectancy of around about 15 years. You know, they can speak very clearly. Um, if you check out a Disco on here, the talking parakeet slash budgie, budgerigar, you'll see. But please just don't get African greys because you want them to perform in that way. Like I said, we have a guy here. You can see that he's been through a lot. He's now recovering, hopefully, because they don't always talk. So, so with that, is Spice a you a good boy? Spice um, has a number of issues. As you can see, it's been pulling at his neck. I can't divulge the past because um, I promised the person that gave Spice to me that I, I wouldn't talk about his past, but he hasn't had a great time. He is a screamer. Um, he doesn't like to be left alone because of what's happened to him. And when he screams, it's ear piercing. Um, he will bite if you touch his food dish. He has got lots of issues um, because he's been misunderstood, because he's been mistreated. And this, this is the result. And many a times he's drove me around the twist with his screaming and I'm like, oh no, what have I done? But I would never rehome him because it's just passing the issue on to somebody else. It's my job when I when I agreed to rescue Spice was to commit myself um, to try and understand his needs, to give him time to adjust. And that can take a year, a year and a half, maybe even two years. There's no quick fix here. These birds are smart and they've been emotionally damaged. Um, just like people take years of counselling and understanding and support, you know. So um, it's not something you can do overnight. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that was um, didn't put you off the greys, but just gave you a little bit of education that they're not always talkers.